guys, I'm super pumped to teach you all this stuff because Apple's got this awesome built-in security that you need to know if it's enabled or not, right? So what I've done is I've created this script that goes and checks all these different security settings and it outputs if it's enabled or not into a log and I gather all this different data, right? I look at the file vault to see if the disk is encrypted or not. I go and I make sure gatekeeper, which is used to uh, verify that trusted software runs on the Mac. I make sure that's enabled. We go look at the firmware password to make sure that's enabled as well. And we run through all these different settings, the application firewall, system integrity protection, all this different software. And we build out this report and basically this tells us if this software is enabled or not right and honestly it's uh it's going to be awesome the script is really not that difficult if you feel like it's something way over your head um, i do have actually a course that walks people through uh, the gui aspect of getting all this done and trying to do this through uh uh, it really a, a, a thorough walkthrough in a course that I have on Udemy.com. I did put a link uh, for a coupon to the course, uh, Protect Your Mac course on Udemy in the description if you would like to take, uh, I guess, the, the easier route and and getting and just going and getting your, your protection done, right? Uh, this is going to create an audit log that shows us if it is enabled or not. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create this script that outputs a log. So let me just show you. Um, I've got this script here and this script when I run it in the terminal will output this log. And this log shows me a variety of different information. It shows me the host name of the computer shows me the Mac OS version and build version. It tells me if the firmware passwords enabled, if file vaults on, application firewalls enabled, system integrity protections enabled, gatekeepers enabled, and then it shows when the last time each of the different systems, XProtect, TCC, malware removal tool, gatekeeper, when all these things had installation updates right so it shows us the different versions and then it also shows us uh, any recommended software that's uh, required for our system right now so I'm gonna show you how to write this script um, and uh, but before I do that if if you're not subscribed get subscribed so that you can uh, and make sure you hit that little uh, bell alert notification so that you can uh, receive the videos right when they come out right all right so let's get to this and start writing a script so we're going to open up terminal command spacebar and that will and start typing terminal I'm gonna hit command plus to blow this guy up make this as big as I can and I'm just going to use nano. I'm going to create two windows because I want one where I'm writing the script and I want another where I'm running these commands so that you can see what they do. All right, so All right. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to start to do is we need to do a sudo nano and hit enter. We're going to enter in the password. And we are going to start typing our script out. We need to do a shebang at the very beginning. And that looks like this. Bin bash. And I'm going to hit return. I'm going to make a note 
or a comment that this is the Mac audit script and another comment created by Jesse. Okay. And then the first thing that I need to do that I want this script to do is I need it to create the actual log that I'm going to store all this information in. And I want to make sure that it appends the date the way I want it to and, and names the file the way I want it to. So the way I'm going to write this out is uh, make a comment. You always want to comment your stuff. So we're going to create the security and we're going to type in security. We're going to create a variable that we're going to use and put you need to do the location of where you want this file to go. I want it to go on my desktop. And I want it to be called Mac Audit. Actually, I want it to be Mac Security Audit. And then I want to put a dash. And this is where I want to get creative and I want to put in a date. So I'm going to use the command. I'm going to put a back tick and I'm going to type in date. And then I want to format the date because normally if I were to just type in date, the date command, it's going to come up like that. Well, I don't want that on the end of my my name my of my file, Mac Security Audit. So I'm going to actually format it. And I'm going to do a plus and I need to do a percentage and I want to do a capital Y for the long uh, year and then I'm going to do a dash percent lowercase m dash percent d and then I'm going to close it with the back tick and do dot log and if I just copy this command out paste it in down here I can see that that is how it's going to format it on the end of my file. So that's what my file name will look like. So now I want to make that file. So I want to do a touch and then quotes. Nope. Just copy this. And now the touch will create that file so that I can start storing a bunch of stuff in it. The first thing I want to store in there is the host name. So I'm going to type in echo and and I actually want to do so what this is going to do is if I just echo that you're going to see that it outputs the name of the computer but I want to put a new line after it I want to put a uh, an extra line after it in the log so the way I'm going to do that is by creating a new line and then we want to output it into our security log right so that's where we're going to output it so what this means, and actually I only want to have one on this first. So I'm going to echo this Apple Ninja Mac out to this security log when I use just the one uh, caret symbol or, or greater than symbol, I should say, not caret. Uh, <clears throat> it will erase anything that's in that log at that point. Um, so this is the starting item and this is the very first thing that will be in that log. And so if I ever run this script more than once in the same day, it will overwrite it immediately with this first line and then each one 
subsequent after, I'm going to use two of them like that so it'll append to the next line. So let's um, hit enter and the next thing we are going to grab is the Mac OS version and build. So we make our comment and we're going to do an echo and actually I think Yep. Okay. So we're going to do let me just type this out real quick and explain it. Oops. Copy that. Can use the option key to put that so now I want to do I want to echo out the software version um, out into this file and I can do that by running this if I just run that software version down there it this is the information it gives me so now I'm going to make sure that that gets entered in there Turn. The next thing we're going to add in after this is going to be the firmware password check. Firmware password check. And then and sign. And it's uh, the command firmware password dash check. And then we're going to output that into the security log. Boom. All right, so let's do the firmware password check and we're going to need to do sudo before that and I'm going to run it enter the password and it says password enabled yes we want that to go out there the next thing we are going to check is going to be the file vault status and that's going to be actually what I can do here I'm just going to copy this whole line I'm going to paste it right here get rid of this I don't need the firmware part on there and I'm going to change just the command that's in there because that's all I need to do so one second I'm going to use FDE setup and status and if I run this whoa I do not believe this needs sudo. Yep, file vault is on, so that will work. Hit return. The next thing we're going to check after this is the application firewall. So this one gets a little bit trickier uh, because it uh, the way it reports its status and the way I wanted to read it in the log so I made it a little bit more complex um, it's alright 
we just have to know what we're looking at so in order to look at the firewall preferences let's just go look down here we're going to run a default read well, actually let's do a command k so we're going to do a defaults read command k clears the screen and default read library preferences com dot apple dot elf dot p list sorry that was way too fast sorry about that so i did default read library preferences com apple elf p list this is the application firewall p list this is what uh, holds all the settings determining whether I am uh, enabled or not. The field that I'm looking for is called global state and I want it to be a one to show me that my application firewall is enabled. But do I really want to go look at the security log and see a one and that might confuse me. No, I want it to say to me application firewall is one uh, is enabled based off of this value being one so let's write this out I'll show you how to do this so we're gonna do an if statement to build this out and we're gonna do if and dollar sign open parenthesis defaults read and we are going to read that oh library preferences com dot apple dot elf dot p list and then you're looking for global state and equals one because that means it's enabled and then we're going to say then so how this reads is if defaults read com apple elf p list global state equals one then I want you to write enabled right application firewall is enabled so we're going to say echo then echo out application fire wall enabled and I want my new line after it and yep, that is right and then I can copy this Put that on the end there and now let's go yep that that is exactly what we needed to put to grab that and basically I mean you can do the same command and I can just show you what how we grabbed um, whoops one second here guys this windows too big all right so global state is one and that's what I was looking for. So now the next thing we're going to look for is we're going to check on system integrity protection. So SIP. And um, this is going to be an easier one and it's going to be more like this one here it's going to be more like the file vault status one so we're going to make this easy and copy this line and we're just going to change this oh 
actually I can even leave that we can just change this and what we would use is CSR util and that will provide put that down there system integrity protection status enabled all right, so we know that that's going to get control E, go to the end of the line. All right, so we've got SIP. The next thing that we want to check and get into our list is Gatekeeper. And make sure Gatekeeper check. And this one we will paste oh, no. we're going to copy this because it's an easy way to get all of that and we're just going to change this a little bit because it uses a different command SP control and I want gate keeper at the front of this and what we can do is let's just go like this we'll copy that whole so those output gatekeeper assessments enabled so that you know that gatekeeper is in fact working and enabled all right so the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to grab the, the configuration data uh, installation data for gatekeeper right now so we want to grab that data Gate, oh, gatekeeper config data and we want to echo out a line with that title so gatekeeper configuration data and that will go out to log we're gonna hit return and then we're going to echo out um, a nice little line um, this is a fun command that we got coming up I kind of like and this is going to be system underscore profiler system underscore profiler and SP install history data type and we're going to pipe that to grep minus i and we're looking for gate keeper configuration data and we want to grab lines two lines before that search and after it so, and then we're going to pipe that to tail minus N5. And I will show you what exactly this is going to do for us. Just give me a quick second here. Grep minus V. And then we are going to. My 
Okay. And then we output that to the log. And let me walk through this line because this is a long one. All right, so we're running. So we're looking for the gatekeeper. Actually, um, yeah, we're looking for the gatekeeper information. And what we're going to do. Oh, I already see an issue right here. Got to have grep. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually copy this out. Just that. Just so you can see. Um, actually, I'm going to copy this so you can see it run that data check. So you're going to see all this configuration data. And it grabs just that line out of this report right but if I grab minus a2 and minus b2 so the grep so I'm taking all the system profiler SP install history data type information I'm sending it to grep which is searching for gatekeeper configuration data and I, when it finds this line I want it to grab two lines after it and two lines before it so let's copy that. Oh man, this is hard to copy. One second here. All right, if I do a command K, paste that in there, hit return. Now I've got all this data, you can see. So now I'm just formatting it. So now if I copy all of this, and I say, I want a tail minus n5 and what that's going to do it's going to give me the very bottom one that you see on the screen install date 82419 version 181 that's what it's going to do if I command K paste that now you'll see it's only giving me one and now I want to get rid of um, uh, the extra spaces in here those were bugging me so I this last grep minus V is the item that gets rid of that so if I just copy this go down here command K paste it in there boom so now we have our formatted line for um, gatekeeper config data the next item so we've got a few more of those so we've got to do the malware removal tool configuration data and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna copy the gatekeeper so I'm just literally gonna copy all of this Boom. copy paste and I'm going to change this I'm down the option and this is going to be the malware removal tool tool config data and to grep for MRT config data so we don't it's not the same search so we're gonna do MRT um, MRT config data and that will give us Here, K, 
boom there's our MRT information Control E go to the end return oh almost forgot to send it out to the log copy that paste Actually, I'm wondering if I've got. Sorry, one sec here. I gotta see something. Okay. Nope, that's right. Maybe I was. I will copy this whole line now because we're gonna do another one of these. And this one is going to be the TCC or Transparency Consent and Control Config Data. Um, so TCC Transparency Consent and Control Config Data. Get rid of that, and then we got to get rid of what we're searching for for that information. And we want TCC oh, configuration data. That is what we're searching for. Let's verify it finds what we want. Boom, got it. So now I'm going to copy this one again up here just because it's smaller, easier to see. Control E. The next item that we're going to grab is the XProtect plist configuration data. And that. And then the item that you're searching for for the XProtect data is the XProtect Protect plist config data. And let's make sure that that is going to work for us and grab the data we want. Boom grabs it I need to copy right. okay we're good and hit return I'm gonna copy this guy nope actually we're done with those ones now this uh, last item that we're gonna add in here is going to be the recommended software updates. Recommended software updates. All right. So let's do an echo. Recommended.
just bumped a key. All right, recommended software updates, and we are going to send that out to the security log. And then we've got one last. Semi big long command. Not horribly bad, but defaults read. We're going to do library preferences com dot, dot apple dot software update. Um, list and then we're going to do rec go mended updates which is what we're searching for and let me just pipe that information into uh, trail minus D and we're gonna format this thing and cut out some characters because let me just show you what this reads as. So if I copy this and I paste this in there, it's going to be pretty ugly. It's got all this stuff in here. It's got all these characters. I want to get rid of these parentheses, these brackets, and all these, all these different things. I want it to be cleaner. Um, so we're going to format a little bit and remove some of that uh, un unnecessary uh, characters. So the first character I want to remove um, is going to be the commas. And then I want to remove semicolons. And remove both the open and curly brackets. I want to remove the open and uh, close parentheses. And I want to remove the double... Uh, um, quotes this but I have to escape it prior to otherwise it tries to close me out now I'm going to put another uh, double quote to close that trail out if I rerun this you're going to see just from right here that it took all of that junk out Boom! Just cleaned it up, man. Get it clean. All right. And now, um, I really don't want all of this information either. So I'm going to trim this down even further. All I want is the display name and the version. Okay. So I am going to pipe that into a grep and search for display and close this guy out um, and then I need new line and I gotta output it to the security log alright and that is the end of the script we're going to exit with the zero and save this script. Control, Control X to, and then a, a Y to save, file name to write. I need to actually put in the full path. So I'm going to do users, um, Mac Lady, desktop. And Mac, uh, Mac, audit, um, security, audit, dot, sh. All right, so I hit enter. Now I should have. A Mac audit 
this is the one I just created this is the script I just created with you guys now let's just see if this guy works alright so I already have a log for today um, I'm gonna actually delete it just so we can ensure that this works I'm gonna drag this script onto this window I have to use a sudo control A to go to the beginning sudo sh let's run this script fingers are crossed that it works one sec oh all right so let's go back and see what we got going on we're gonna do a pseudo nano and we got a all right line 52 and 58 that's look at that For some reason my my new lines all right so now they all got the new line correct okay so that was the pretty sure that was the mess up I don't know how that got jacked up like that but let's try this again ooh one more unexpected end of file I forgot to close out the, the if statement So now let's let's rerun that and just see. All right, there we go. Now you can see we've got us a fully built out Mac security audit login logging system. Um, Definitely, guys, if you guys have any other suggestions for different security tips, definitely leave them in the comments. Or if you have any ideas on how to even better this process, love to hear it, right? Uh, definitely uh, let me know how, uh, how you like the video. Get subscribed if you're not already. And you guys have an awesome week. I'll chat with you next week.